A local plastic surgeon is trying to reverse the damage done by illegal injections that are increasingly popular in our area. All right, Heine injections gone bad. Next, the ugly price women are paying right here in the D.C. area. Woo. Well, Baltimore. Well, there was a time when really a huge benign was not necessary and not necessarily a cause for a celebration. A time before Kim Kardashian went viral with her risque pictures of her hind parts and even launched a new term, belfies, as in butt selfies. And now a whole lot of you out there are going for a similar look. But oft times, it doesn't end well. More and more women are turning to illegal women black market injections to increase the size of their booties. And as Andrea McCarran explains, there are often dire consequences. Women are choosing these injections over implants because of cost and convenience. Initially, there's very little recovery time, and the price is usually a couple of hundred dollars, as opposed to as much as 10000 for implants. It's kind of like your wardrobe, man. It's just one of those things you, you do. I don't wear a suit and a tie, I got a booty. Like, that's what I wear to work. Sarah is 31 years old and wanted to boost the size of her behind. So she turned to an option cheaper than implants and illegal, silicone injections. If you're in a club with 100 women, we'll say 80%, 80 women will actually have them done. So it's kind of like, you know, you have a competitive edge. But her injections went bad, and she's not alone. And certainly in the last... Yeah, six months, I'm seeing a, a rash of people who've had these injections done who are coming back with problems. Not only are these silicone injections illegal, they're often mixed with materials that can create horrible, disfiguring reactions. And the skin, this dark skin, feels like leather, like a leather purse. We've heard stories of motor oil being mixed with them. We've heard fix a flat, hydrogel. These are substances that go to the kidneys and destroy them, go to the liver, destroys them. They can also lead to masses of silicone that have hardened and migrated. So firm, Dr. Anyewu must work to soften the tissue enough to remove it. If you try to go in now and surgically remove it, you couldn't even get a knife through it. That's how, that's how hard it is. And so most of these are done underground. Even more alarming, these black market injections are being done at pumping parties held in motel rooms, private homes, and spas. A few of my girlfriends and I, we actually heard about this person. So we just went to, you know, went together, got a little hotel room, and had a little girls' night. It's, it's a shroud of secrecy around it. Um, it's hard to get into these parties. You have to be invited by somebody who's had injections done before. We spotted this ad on Craigslist and asked for more information. Minutes later, we received a price list from an injector in Buffalo, New York, claiming to work with lots of girls from D.C. This person promised results would be immediate and permanent and was even willing to come to D.C. for a $300 travel fee. I don't suggest it. I guess the main reason is you never really know who's doing it or what they're actually injecting. It's actually scary. Honestly, it's, it's scary. It's scary because it's extremely dangerous. One of Dr. Anyewu's patients traveled all the way to South America for butt implants, but the surgeon there put in breast implants instead. Andrea McCarran, WUSA 9. Wow. Well, Baltimore, Atlanta, and New York are currently considered hubs for getting those illegal injections. Some have even led to serious illnesses and even death. When Dr. Anye Wu tells us a lot of doctors shy away from dealing with the aftermath of those injections because, as he says, reversing those toxic shots is nothing you can learn in school.